gentlemen, it's now time to introduce on stage and invite on stage Mr. Sangal Chopra. But before that, we have a small AD. So let's have a look at it, please. Your team was limited to getting hands on any cream I could get to, or my makeup routine was limited to hair gel. Uh, from, but then I thought, makeup's keeping her busy. Doing a skincare line will get her very busy. As a husband, what more would I want? I said, yes, we're going to do this. Little did I know that seven years down the line, I'll be sitting in my office and debating the formulations of a BB cream, and my makeup team will be discussing and trying to convince me, sir, this is baby pink, bright pink, light pink, very light pink, and I'll be saying, uh huh. But I'm all, uh, you know, at the phenomenal growth of this industry, 500 USD billion worth, growing at an exponential rate. And uh, it is amazing that women alone drive this large economy. So, 2000. 12, 2013, in Australia, we founded CISO Cosmeceutical. We moved our operations to India. We started with 20 product SKU. We saw there's a niche in the market for a result-oriented, half-full chemical-free, yet affordable product line. 20 SKUs in 2013, count 16, 17, 700 SKUs. And when that happened, I changed the name of my autobiography from a husband's guide, guide to happiness to learning to put mascara, journey of a reluctant entrepreneur. <laughs> and this wouldn't have been possible with the support of each one of you. Uh, the immense support we got in India with all of you, the salons and everybody, the mentorship, we grew at a very rapid rate. And when this was happening, uh, it also enlarged our vision. We decided to look back uh, into the business to understand what's next, what more can we do. And one thing which struck us, you know, pretty bold was, till date, India is not a tent setter. We are followers. We look to West, to Europe, to US, in terms of what new innovative technologies they are bringing in. And then we try to adapt that to the Indian economy, Indian skin system, and Indian wellness market. And uh, we thought, we need to do something here, you know. This is a probably a larger vision. How can we join hands together, make India a trendsetter and innovation hub in skincare and cosmetics. And with that vision, this year, uh, in Gurgaon, under Make in India Initiative, we set up a state-of-the-art manufacturing plant spread over 7,000 square feet with a commitment that knowledge should be accessible to all and we are ready to partner and work with everybody to bring India on the global map of skin care and cosmetic so that we are not as trend setters, not as followers. We also relook into the business uh, and we started studying the hair market. We understood the dynamics in terms of the revenue percentage which is split between hair and skin. Uh, we realized there is a potential and a huge gap which can still be fulfilled into the hair segment where the revenue can be up into a salon with a result oriented, chemical free product and reducing the shorter time for a treatment. Globally, if you talk about US, South America, they have been developing and creating new products and we thought this is probably the opportunity where we can do something and we can be a trend setter. Who have given up their very conventional jobs, mainstream jobs to follow their passion. And she's been an engineer for a very long time and all of a sudden she just up and wanted to follow her passion which was makeup and that's exactly what she did. She definitely is a very sought after makeup expert. She's been in Australia for over 10 years as a makeup expert and also a celebrity makeup artist. And we have her here with us today. She's the co-founder of Seasoul. Before we invite her on stage, uh, let's have a look at an AV one more time. Let's have a round of applause for her. Now what I must say is that that was the She Unlimited Entrepreneur Awards 2019 video by Times of India and you actually won it among 5,000 other entries. Yes. So let's have a round of applause for that too. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for everyone for coming here. This is a beautiful and a great day for us. So we uh, started our journey from Chennai eight years ago. Our first launch was in the same city. 
with a massage candles at the Dr. John Gray show. And I'm very excited and happy and proud to say that you're back in Chennai with our very first launch of Kerasol, which is the second baby that you know we are bringing up together. And uh, this is all about hair, so yeah, let's get started. But this has been around for, I think, eight years back, you launched uh, Sea Soul. You started with Sea Soul and you've come all the way till here. What was the main reason why you decided, okay, let me leave something so secure, which is an engineering job, and venture into what is now your passion? What made you do that? So, I would say I'm just lucky enough to find it in, in time that what I wanted to do with my life. First thing I would say, I didn't have any pressure of earning the bread and butter for the family. Sandeep had taken good care of us. So, <laughs> being in Australia, you know, I went mean, uh, So, I had won a national award for doing uh, henna when I was in college. And uh, I had a Malay friend getting married to a Hindu guy in Australia. So, she asked me, can you do my uh, wedding henna? So, I wasn't doing it as a profession then, just my very close friend. And that guy was like the most eligible bachelor in the country, you know, for, from the Hindu family. So while I was doing her wedding henna, so she uh, got a call from her makeup artist saying that uh, she's had an accident and she can't turn up. So all I tried, I mean, I was quite anxious about doing the whole thing, but I just offered her. She's Malay, she doesn't even know what sarees meant. So I was like, okay, I think I can do this for her. I had no experience, but yes, I'm born to a makeup artist. So I had something in built, I guess. And that was the first ever wedding makeup and hair and the whole dressing I did and that just went viral for me. And that's where the first time ever I realized that this is what I love to do. I came and told him, was like, if you want to do this, just do it professionally. And that's where the journey began. I think we all need men like that in our lives, uh, supporting uh, yeah. women in their passion. Yeah. Um, so, like I said, eight years back we started Sea Soul. Uh, tell us a little about the journey of your brand as such. So, Sea Soul, uh, it's a very emotional journey. I mean, um, so when I had my uh, first child in Australia, I actually met two major accidents when I was pregnant with him. So, you know, that I mean, uh, possessiveness as a mother was quite a lot in me. And this child was born with uh, eczema, extreme eczema. That's our eldest son who's dead now. And uh, so, being into the industry and always very careful with the skincare and makeup and coming from the engineering background with strong in chemistry, I started to study naturopathy and, uh, you know, uh, uh, so that's where, and cosmetology, and that's where, uh, you know, I came up with the first concept, which is called massage and scrub candles. So, the idea of the product was to lock the moisture inside the skin. And uh, so that that poor child doesn't have to go through uh, all the steroids and stuff which the doctors have recommended. And he's 10 now, he's like 95% over that problem. Which doctors told us that he has to live with it for the rest of his life. So that was, was a journey from where we started Sea Soul. So when I started the products, so here in Chennai we started the massage candles. And side by side the Dead Sea uh, facials, the whole facial range, you know, because then it kind of became my passion to do products, take care of your skin. So, and it was all about organic for me. I mean, right from sea soil, even going in kerosene, the idea was saying no to chemicals, saying no to harmful chemicals, mainly parabens, sulfate, phosphate, formaldehyde, everything. So that's where in 2012 is when we launched candles. 2013 we launched our skincare line. Then uh, 2014 was medical pedicures with the candles and the other ranges. Then uh, 2015 was makeup line. And then the line went on. And uh, uh, I think by last year we had almost 450 SKUs in the skincare, makeup, and uh, uh, medical pedicures. This year we have done three. This is our third major launch. The first one was the airbrush and the makeup. And then we did a complete wax care range and now it's care all together new brand. Wonderful, I think that's a very long journey. Sam, you've got to wear blue. And Sam, you've got to wear a white shirt. I said no. So I'm not going to change that part of it. So you, you shift now. Someone said you know what? So you have to take off your glasses and clip, clip photographs. And it's like no way. It's not coming out. So actually I have tradition. So, Hi, I'm Sabi John Pereira. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi, hi. I think you guys are hungry. Yeah. And uh, 
So I'm going to just speak to you for about five minutes. But I have a tradition, you know what I'm saying? In the last 20 years, ever since I've been a brand ambassador for Schwarzkopf, <clears throat> and I've had one ardent fan of mine, and I still love ambassador actually, but I love it so much. And so I walked on the stage. You know, people who've got a lot of salons. What have you got a lot of salons? Yes. And at some given point in these last 20 years, I have been involved in uh, doing trainings at your salons, developing your stylus. And people have called me because you know they believe, you know, Sam, whatever he does, he does it well. If he believes in something, then uh, he believes in it. And it's always good for the hairdresser because the hairdresser is with the end consumer end of it. You know what I'm saying? And we always believe in giving our consumers the best, our clients the best, be it service, be it anything, especially to do with hair. So I've been very picky and choosy of who I associate myself with and why I associate myself with. There's a lot of trying that happens. A lot of uh, hairdressing brands and salons who kind of trust my uh, credibility on the products as well, you know, because we want hairdressers to suggest good products to our clients. We want our hairdressers to make some good money as well. But I just think we want them to do it properly, do it nicely. And, uh, you know, thank you. Thank you for yesterday. So, I know uh, Manisha has already told you the story about Care Store and how it was started. I think Manisha, you should kind of speak about it. Yeah, okay, you know what? Uh, when I met her last year and I was like, like Sam, what does the hair industry mean? And I had this uh, list of things. And I said, people have hair fall problems, women have a scalp problem, they have a dandruff problem. And these are women who are walking into my salon day in and day out. And that's the constant problem. And I need a solution for all this. If someone can make something with all of these characteristics, it's just going to make life so much more easier and so much more better for us hairdressers and for the consumers themselves. And I left it at that. I said, I really need to do something. I really need something like that, but nobody's making it. You get in bits and pieces all over. You can pick something for dandruff. You can pick something for hair fall. Pick something for itchy scalp, but uh, nothing which is a one-stop solution for everything. So that was my brief to her. And uh, we left it at that and then I'll hand it over to her. So yeah, I mean, that's where the conversation I think started in a lot of the hair knowledge and it definitely comes from here. And uh, it was kind of a ch challenge for me. I mean, you know, like she would given me like a whole list. And first of all, I was like, is there like one solution? Is it really possible that one product could do that? Is it like it's just playing in my brain or something? And then ultimately, I started being an organic chemist. I started studying. I started finding solutions with a lot of other chemists all over the world. I have a lot of uh, organic chemist friends all over the world as well. So we kind of worked together towards this project. And I uh, that's where I came up, I think in February. Yeah. That's where we discussed about the cryo bit. And uh, yeah, rest is the history. Rest will probably, uh, you know, like, and we came up with one solution which could fix up pretty much any kind of your hair or damages or hair health issues which you have. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, but that was, it was brain damaging after I told her that because she then started hounding me. So what is this for the hair? What do you need for this? For the scan with itches, is it this? How should the product look like? Oh, and I'm like, oh my god, I've really kind of unleashed a monster out there. You know what I'm saying? So she like hounded me and she would like send me products, try it out. And yeah, I think that's what kind of yeah. got out. And of course, I mean, all the trials and tests, I mean, he kind of, I would say, scrutinized me on each and every step. No, this is not right, that's not right, this has to be done this way. And yes, I'm sure, I mean, that's to bring me to that level of, you know, where we could bring Kerosol to world standards. So, yeah, thank you so much for that. No, but you know what, the first time she met me, she thought I was this blind hairdresser being introduced to her. You know, as a evening function, watch function. Who's this guy coming with glasses to shake my hands or whatever? That was but one part. So she never knew who I was. And uh, then she Googled me out. And then she replied back to my message. Say, well, you know what I Googled? You have seen me on Google and all this stuff. So, anyways, yeah, that's the. And I'm like, I'm Sabi John Pereira, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know. I just Googled you out, okay? <laughs> 
glucose. And all the important vitamins and nutrients are there in the spray as well. It's a leave on product and it's going to make her hair look much more shinier, silkier, and smoother. And it's a cryo activated product. So from this step onwards, we are getting her cryo ready. So that we're getting her hair completely cryo ready so that we can use cryo on her hair. Now, this is an important, so technicians in the house, this is a very important process before your. Uh, what do you call it? Before doing your cryo liquid, where you kind of spray it on. You've already pre prepped the hair earlier as well with the product. So, you know, so I'm not going to like douse it with the thing completely. Yeah. Want me to put this on? Yeah. See this? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, of course, you know, I mean, the whole trial process and uh, of this of the product, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. So I have very well been watching my videos, yeah. And uh, Ratama, thank you for your video yesterday. <laughs> I loved it. So there's this whole thing of when I do the whole cryo. Of course, when you're doing the cryo in the salon, so? you do it the 15, 18, 20 years or so. So you know, they can be like the really bitchy ones when they're gonna try either the product is good or it sucks, you know what I'm saying, one of the two. So it's not in between or whatever. I just told you, just kind of calm myself down and chill that. Sap, get control of yourself. So... So the activator portion is, again, it's the, uh, uh, what do you call, the water version of the complete nutrients, the m much more stronger, cryo-activated, um, uh, you know, I mean, uh, portion that we need before we kind of give her the complete uh, cryo uh, treatment. So can I get your gadget? Are you ready for that? Uh, the gadget. I want the, so there are two things. Of course, she's, she's been giving me different things to play around with it. So, so the nicest way to, of course, do it is to spread it out nicely. We don't have a backwash over here. You know, so we're going to use this table. No, no, no. That's it, right? Are you paying with all the lazy clients? <laughs> So yeah, and uh, yeah, again, uh, I've done a lot of hair shows, a lot of education, a lot of trainings all across the country for chain salons, for standalone salons, for brands. So yeah, lots. I, I take part in a lot of exhibitions as well. I love show work. I love doing show work. And uh, I promised myself last year I would lose weight to come on stage.